question three on the June 2009 paper. And again, this is another question which is a little bit weird and a little bit um, mean, if you ask me. Anyway, well, let's get a little diagram going. It's a collisions question. And let's get a diagram kind of highlighting what's going on. So if we consider the two particles, um, A and B, as shown, we've got, oops, we've got A moving before the collision, moving with 2U, and B moving with 3U, and they're heading towards each other to collide. So this is A, this is B, this is moving with speed of 2U, this is moving with speed with 3U, and we know that the mass of A is 2M, and the mass of B is M. After the collision, we don't know what's going to happen, um, but we know that there's an impulse that they receive. So let's presume that the motion of A is unchanged and the motion of B is reversed. So let's assume that A carries on with the speed of X and B carries on with the speed of, um, it gets reversed, is now going at speed of y. Now what actually happens is because clearly the speed of a is not going to increase by bashing into b, if a is moving along from left to right it's going to hit into b, it's, it's either going to be reversed in terms of a minus velocity or it's going to be reduced, it's going to carry on the way it's going, it's going to be reduced. We're pretending, we're not sure, but we think it's going to be reduced. Which means that a is experiencing an impulse in this direction and the impulse we're told is 7m u over 2. Now it has to be, that's the magnitude of the impulse, but it has to be to the left because something's happening to, to a. Now if the impulse is big enough, then actually the uh, velocity of x, the speed of x, will, the direction will be reversed and it will go the other way, but we're not, we're not sure. At the same time, in order for b to be changing direction, the magnitude of the impulse is exactly the same as identical 7m u over 2. However, it's now acting to the right, and we're always going to assume for this question that to the right is positive. Now this is really important because if we consider the particle A, if we consider particle A, what we get is we've got the impulse is equal to the final momentum minus the initial momentum. But we know that the impulse is 7mu over 2. Not just that, it's minus 7mu over 2, because the impulse on A is left. It's either reducing the speed or reversing its direction, which means it must be negative impulse. Magnitude of this, however, that with the sign it must be negative, is the final momentum of uh, A, which is 2mx, and minus the initial, which is 2mu. Uh, so sorting all this out, we find out that minus 7u is equal to 4x minus 8u. So I've cancelled m from each part and I've multiplied across by 2. And then um, rearranging all that, I find that u over 4 is equal to x. So the speed of a immediately after the collision is a quarter of u, where the initial initial velocity was 2u. Okay, so it's a positive number, so it is acting to the right, but it's less than 2u, which is being reduced, which is what we expect from the uh, initial from the impulse acting to the left or being negative. If we consider the particle b, we're going to do something very similar. And if we consider the particle b, same thing applies. The impulse is equal to the final momentum minus the initial momentum, which means 7mu over 2, and this time it's positive because it's acting to the right, because B's direction has been reversed, the impulse is positive, is the final momentum, which is my, and it's minus the initial momentum, which is m 
minus 3u. Now it's important we've got this minus 3u here because the velocity of negative is acting to the left. It's originally traveling from right to left. Same kind of process as before. Let's rearrange. We get 7u is equal to 2y plus 6u. Rearranging, we get that u over 2 is equal to y. Or actually, that uh, it's a positive value, so we have got a diagram right here is acting to the right. The velocity of what uh, the velocity of b or y after the collision is a half u acting to the right positive. Okay. Now this question was a bit mean because actually they didn't make it clear they wanted you to leave it in terms of u. It just said you just you had to guess. I suppose it's difficult to work out that you this is what you're expected to do. And you're just finding the speed of u because you've got no numbers here. You're just expected to kind of work out that that's you have to leave it in terms of u. Okay. Quite a tricky question.